Okay, today I'm gonna to show you how to set up a Balance 20X, uh, brand new. So I've got, uh, the box comes with the Balance 20X, two cellular antennas, and two Wi-Fi antennas. So if I unbox these real fast, you'll notice that the cellular antennas are smaller than the Wi-Fi antennas. Um, the cellular antennas have a little pen. This is the SMA connector. The Wi-Fi antennas do not have the pen. That's the RP SMA. So these are your Wi-Fi, these are your cellular. Then you have the router, you have your GPS cable, which I'm gonna move aside, and then you have your power cable. So the first thing we wanna do, if we wanna install a SIM card, is flip the router over, grab a screwdriver, unscrew this, and you can see that you have A and B, so we have our two SIM card choices. So I'm gonna click this little metal tab back, slide this up, and then take my SIM card, and I'm gonna slide it right in between this black piece here and the metal piece here. So you can see there's a black, so I'm gonna slide it in, you can see the little notch there facing to the left. Then I'm gonna put it down and click it into place. Now my SIM card's installed. So then I'm gonna put the lid on it here. The 20X is a great little router. It supports 100 megs of Speed Fusion throughput, which is perfect for Speed Fusion Cloud. It supports 900 megs of router th routing throughput, so you can have your, your like a cable modem or fiber or whatever, your ethernet connection here. You have a four port LAN port, it supports 900 megs of, of routing throughput. And then you can have failover to cellular and you can take advantage of the Speed Fusion cloud service. So I have my Wi-Fi, my GPS and my Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna go ahead and screw on my Wi-Fi antenna. And then this Wi-Fi antenna. And then on the back side, or on the front side I guess, you have your two cellular antennas. So I'm gonna put my two cellular antennas, and then you're gonna plug it in. Now, this is the flex module. So if you have a Cat12 or Cat18 flex module, you can plug that right in here and have two SIM cards um, and take advantage of um, Speed Fusion, a uh, bonded Speed Fusion failover. So I'm gonna take that, then I'm gonna take my ethernet cable, I'm gonna plug it in to the LAN port. So I've plugged in the Ethernet cable. And so now what I want to do is just once the router loads, I should get an IP address. So IP config. And it has not loaded yet. So we'll just wait a second. And you can see also there's a, a red light there. So when that turns green, it should be loaded. There we go. It's green. There we go. And so you can see now I've got an IP address of 192.168.1.10 and my default gateway is 1.1. So if I go to https colon slash slash 192.168.1.1, now I can log in. The default for peplink is admin admin, and then it's gonna ask you to change the password for security and compliance. So admin, and I'm gonna put in my temporary password here. Hit save and apply, hit okay. So now that the router is logged in, I can see that I've got my my module here, that's bl my flex module, it's blank. I can see my ethernet ports and my cellular connections. I can see that my cellular module is connecting here. So this particular SIM card is a multi-MZ SIM. So I'm gonna come in here and go to my cellular connection and I'm gonna go to operator settings, custom, and I'm gonna put in my APN for that. I'm also gonna enable the settings. So hit save and save and apply. And so now I've got my cellular connection as a backup priority and then it should connect to the internet. Now, I can use in control to program this, or I can program it locally. So it depends on what you're doing. So for this particular router, I've been asked to um, change the, the LAN. So I'm going to go into my network settings. I'm going to go to the network LAN network settings, go to the untag LAN. And I'm going to go ahead and change this per the request of the customer there and change the, the LAN. Change my DHCP to, to match. There we go. So, so now I've got my LAN. If you want to program your WAN, you can click on WAN and either set it to static if you have a static IP or DHCP if you have a DHCP from your ISP. Um, something about Peplink routers too is you don't click, the, the, the settings don't apply until you click the apply changes up here. For example, I went to my network settings and I can program all these different options, then click apply changes. So I don't have to worry about those settings working. So if you notice, there's no Speed Fusion Cloud option because my, my firmware is 8.0.2. So I'm gonna click Apply Changes. 
So I'm gonna go to in control and you'll see there's my balance 20X online. So to add the balance 20X to in control, I go to settings, add device, and I just put in the serial number of the device and there it is right there. So now that in, I'm in in control, I can go ahead and push the updated firmware to support Speed Fusion Cloud. So I'm gonna go to settings, firmware policy. I'm gonna make sure 8.1.1 is being pushed, which it is. So this router, because it's an in control now, will automatically download the firmware and apply that firmware. So you'll see it's on 8.0.2 and it will download 8.1.1 here shortly and be updated. So we'll just wait for that to load. Okay, and the router is online now. It's now running the 8.1.1 software. So the first thing I'm gonna do is show you how to use it with Speed Fusion Cloud and then Speed Fusion Enterprise with this MVX. So the first thing we're gonna do is go back into the router, go back to the admin page here, refresh this. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so now I'm on 8.1.1 software. I have, I have my setup wizard, my Speed Fusion Cloud. So now I can go to Speed Fusion Cloud. I can get my activation key. So I can activate via care plan and it's gonna bring up all of your routers um, so for me, once this loads, because the serial number is in in control, and then I'm going to choose the group for this device, and there's my 20x, so I can select the checkbox there, and hit activate, and now I have activated my Balance 20x with Speed Fusion Cloud. So it takes just a few minutes to load, um, and you can you'll see that you just hit refresh, and it'll this activate will go away and you can choose your location there. Okay, so now you see that I now have the choose my cloud location is available. So I can just choose my cloud location. If you know where you wanna to bond to, you can do that or you can just click automatic, which I, I like, and I can hit save. Now, once you hit that and you hit save, you have this SFC, you can click on this, you can enable our bandwidth limitations, you can enable WAN smoothing technology, or you can enable forward error correction. You can also create multiple profiles. Like for example, I can create a profile and I can call it WAN smoothing. And I can create another profile called FEC. And on this, on the FEC profile, I can enable Ford error correction. And on the WAN smoothing profile, I can enable WAN smoothing. Hit save and hit apply changes. And I go back to my dashboard and it should create three tunnels. One that's the Speed Fusion Cloud bonding, and then another one that is Speed Fusion Cloud WAN smoothing, and another one that is Speed Fusion Cloud FEC, and there they are right there. There we go, now they're all connected. So now I can go back to my Speed Fusion Cloud and I can optimize cloud applications. So I can click on the optimize cloud applications. And for example, I can say send Zoom and Office 365 for Teams and Life Size and Google Workspace over WAN smoothing. And then all other internet can go out either the default or the FEC. So hit save and hit apply changes. So now my Google and my, my life size and my Office 365 are gonna go out the WAN smoothing profile. I can also go to my network options here and go to outbound policies. And I can create an outbound policy that says my you know video stream and put in the destination IP address, uh, maybe some 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 cloud service or whatever, and then I can tell it to use the FEC functionality. So what this is going to do is it's going to tell, say if I'm if I initiate a video stream to 5.4.2.3, go ahead and use the Speed Fusion Cloud FEC functionality. So you can you can use outbound policies to control the flow of traffic or do traffic shaping. Um, and then you can also use the Speed Fusion Cloud application-based routing over the different technologies. Kind of an easy way to manage and prioritize that traffic. So once your Speed Fusion Cloud is set up, now this particular internet, I only have um, my cellular, I haven't plugged in my Ethernet, my WAN yet, but if I plug that in, it would bond those together. So that's how you would do Speed Fusion Cloud. This particular setup, I actually want to configure Speed Fusion um, between this MBX and this Balance 20X sitting in, a, in an, an office. So first thing I'm gonna do is give the 20X a host name. So I'm gonna go into the 20X, click edit. I'm gonna scroll down, find my peplink service right there. 20X 
demo dot my pep dot link and I'm gonna hit save and that, what that's gonna let me do is it doesn't really matter what my public IP is it's gonna establish that connection to that so now I can go back to my group settings go to configuration of speed fusion enable speed fusion bonding create a profile star click next choose my balance 20 and then all I'm going to do here is delete these public IPs and use the 20x demo dot my pep dot link that way whatever the IP that's configured is going to work because it's going to use the find my pep link service click next I'm going to select the MBX click next and then I'm going to say speed fusion and then I'm going to click now here I can also enable WAN smoothing, forward error detection, or forward error correction. I can do my um, link detection failure time, and I can also send all traffic to the 20X. But to be honest, the, the MBX will probably operate faster um, by itself, just because it's a CAT 18 MBX. So we're only gonna wanna send specific traffic over the tunnel. So we're not gonna turn that on for this, this setup. And then hit next, and finish, and save. So now if I go back to my 20X and refresh my page, you'll see I actually have two sets of tunnels. So I have my Speed Fusion Cloud service, and then I have my PEP VPN with Speed Fusion service. So that's gonna give me my bonding for my HD4 MBX right here, and then I'm gonna have my Speed Fusion Cloud options right here. So you can actually run both Speed Fusion and Speed Fusion Cloud depending on what you're doing. And this works really well in this particular instance because the MBX is gonna be coming in through this, this Ethernet WAN connection, but then it might go out to Zoom, you're actually taking advantage of WAN smoothing technology. So it's sort of a win-win because now your last mile connectivity is actually going up to Speed Fusion Cloud. Anyways, uh, that's my tutorial for just quickly configuring a Balance 20X with uh, Speed Fusion Cloud and actually with Speed Fusion as well.